Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today I want to show you how to create an MP3 audio file from a video. The other week when I was at Blog World Expo, I got asked this question a couple of times. How can I create an audio podcast from my video podcast so I can have a separate feed for people that only want audio. And this can be very useful for someone that say has an older iPod without video or uses an iPod shuffle. You would want just an MP3 audio file in this case and not a video file. It also could be useful if you listen to a lot of podcasts and want to listen to some video podcasts without having the video component attached because you may have one of those iPods or some other device or you may just be listening in the car. Now converting from video to audio is simply a matter of stripping out the video track. But you need a piece of software to do that. And there's two different options I want to go over. So the first option I want to look at is using QuickTime Pro and iTunes. Now QuickTime Pro costs $30 from Apple, but it's a piece of software I don't think anybody that does even a little bit of video or audio editing should be without. So if you're going to convert a podcast that's not yours into audio, you would simply look for the file for that podcast. So for instance, you select the individual episode and you can control click on it and say show in finder. And this will bring up the actual MP4 or M4V file uh, for that episode. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open this in QuickTime Pro. Now I, you can do this by simply dragging and dropping which I'm going to do right now and it will open up a QuickTime Pro window right here with the video in it. And at this point I can actually go to export and I have a bunch of different options to export. One of those options is going to be sound to and you get three options. So you can choose sound to AIFF. Unfortunately you cannot convert a video or anything to MP3 in QuickTime Pro. So you have to choose another file format. Once you export as an AIFF it will export it in a format that can be read by another program such as iTunes. So now we've exported that. Okay, I saved the AIF file to my desktop, but I'm going to move it here so you can see it. And now I'm going to go ahead and drag it into iTunes here, into my music library. And we'll place that with my other music here at the top since I have them sorted by date added. And then I can control click or right click on it and select create MP3 version. And this will duplicate the file basically, but it's an MP3. Since I've added it to the music library and I have it iTunes set to manage my music. It has taken it out of this podcast directory here and put it in the regular music directory under unknown artist and unknown album. And there's the IAF version and there's the new MP3 version. And I can delete one. I can actually do it through the iTunes interface. You can see they're both here. Delete it. Remove it from the library and move it to the trash. Just leaving the MP3 version which will now sync with any device that iTunes syncs to even if it doesn't support video. Now that's a great way to convert one file at a time here and there if you need it for listening. But if you want to do this on a regular basis or you're a podcast producer and you want to do this for every episode you probably want a more streamlined solution. Enter FFmpeg X which is a great utility that I use for video but it can also be used to convert video to audio. Let's take a look. So here I've got my MP4 files, the video files, and I've downloaded FFmpegX and installed it. Here's what the interface looks like. It's a drag and drop interface. So what I want to do is I want to drag into the source format the video right here. And it knows that it's an MP4 video. And I want to do a target format. Now I have a whole bunch of different options you can't see. But at the bottom uh, there's movie audio to MP3. I select that. It says to MP3. Now I can customize it if I want or leave the defaults. I can customize by clicking on audio and selecting a whole bunch of different options right here. I'll stick with summary and I'll click on encode and it will go ahead and launch another program here that actually does the conversion. And once this is done, it won't take long just to convert video to audio, I'll end up with the MP3 file in the same directory as my original MP4 file. You can see it creating it right here right now. There we go and here we have the MP3 file. So you can see that's a much more streamlined process. And there and I open it up in QuickTime. I have Hi, my audio. This is Gary Rosenzweig with Mac Most Now. So that's a lot easier to do and you can actually batch process these. You can drag and drop a whole bunch on and keep hitting encode and it will actually encode multiple ones at the same time. So there are two options for converting video to MP3 audio files. 
If you like this tutorial and you like this podcast, please tell your friends to subscribe at macmost.com slash itunes.html. One thing, I've changed my Twitter address. It used to be twitter.com slash Gary Rosenzweig, all spelled out. That's a lot to type in. So I got the shorter Twitter address, twitter.com slash R-O-S-E-N-Z. So my apologies if you tried to subscribe to me in the last couple of days and got nothing when you went to the old address. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig at MacMost Now. Thanks.